Let's download NovaBench and get a performance benchmark for this Windows 11 machine. So I'm going to open a browser and go to NovaBench.com. Okay, and then you click here, download for free, download for Windows. And in Edge here, download is in the upper right. Depending on your browser, if you're using Chrome, it'll be in the lower left. Firefox upper right, others, I'm not too sure. But we got a few seconds left here before the file is in. So a good score on this benchmark would be really anything above a thousand would be pretty good, right? And, uh, you know, anything below that, you know, particularly below 800, you know, you're getting out of the midline computer and closer to a uh, entry-level machine. Now I'm not sure, I'm going to click on open file here. I have no idea what the benchmark here will be. I'm just going to tell it not to check for updates automatically. I'll click on install, click on next, click install. This is a virtual machine running on, uh, on a MacBook Air uh, with the M1 chip. Everything seems to be pretty fast. Uh, I'm not having any uh, noticeable lagging issues or anything, but um, oh, here we go down, lower right, we have this, do you want this app to make changes to your device? Uh, is that It was flashing on the taskbar, so you have to watch for that. So we're going to say yes. Let the install come in. If we can close this browser. Here's the install. Click finish. And Nova Bench should come up in a moment. I've used this on a lot of machines. It's a good way to compare, you know, if you're kind of trying to spec out between two machines, which one to keep, which one to give away, all that kind of thing. So I'm clicking on Start Tests, and then it goes through, you know, there's a CPU test here, there's a big graphics test coming up. Sometimes the graphics test uh, fails, right? Depending on your chipset, etc. Uh, so your score, if it can continue through the failure of that test, uh, won't include the graphics score. So you need to be low, lower. Um, I'm hoping that that is not the case here on this machine. My development machine tests in at about 2200, a little bit more. Higher the number, the better. So we'll see how this compares to my development machine. Okay, there. Oh, it's loading the graphics test. So this is a 3D image. And we can see here frames per second. It's not very high here, you know, in the 20s, right? No, it's hitting 30 at times. Not great, but uh, not as bad as I've seen on some other machines. And we're pretty much done. Okay, 428. That doesn't surprise me. So this is very, you know, entry level as uh, machines go, but it is a virtual machine running on on a MacBook Air with only 8 gigabyte of RAM. So as you can see here, it's sharing half that RAM. It's only got 4 gigabyte. Um, the minimum suggested for Windows 11, I'm sure, is 8 gigabyte or higher. So, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I can I can do some Windowsy things here on the Mac and, um, and get things done. Oh, and, and this is what I was talking about, actually. So, uh, the graphics score was not successful. It didn't successfully run that test. So obviously there's graphics running here. We did have some frames per second. So this score would actually be higher, whatever the graphics score would be if it had been able to successfully add that on. So it's not quite as bad as it looks, right? And it certainly doesn't feel bad. You know, things seem to be loading fairly quickly um, on this uh, virtual machine. So I'm pretty happy with it and hopefully this has helped you to benchmark your own machine.